Hello, welcome to the CWP tutorial on how to install Joomla on Control Web Panel. To start off with, Joomla is a free and open source content management system, or CMS, for publishing web content. Joomla is used all over the world to power millions of websites. It can be used for corporate websites, portals, intranets, and extranets, online magazines or publications, e commerce and online reservations and nonprofit websites. So clearly there's a lot of great reasons to be using Joomla. Let's see what it takes to set it up on CWP. The technical requirements for installing Joomla include PHP minimum 5.3.10, recommended 7.1 or beyond. Furthermore, Joomla also requires the PHP support extensions for Zlib compression, XML, INI parser, JSON, and mCrypt. MySQL 5.1 minimum recommended 5.5.3 and supported web servers are Apache 2.0 recommended 2.4 and Nginx 1.0 recommended 1.8 or above. So let's log in to our CWP admin dashboard. And if you scroll down and take a look on the right hand side, you'll see here your application versions. Here's the Apache version 2.4 and Apache 2.4 that meets the recommended requirements. PHP 5.6. That meets the PHP minimum of 5.3, but not the recommended and MySQL version 10.1, which far exceeds the recommended of 5.5. So as a first step, let's update our PHP. So let's go back to the CWP admin dashboard. And over on the left hand side is the sidebar menu. Let's go down to PHP settings and twirl down the submenu arrow here. And for those of you that are familiar with CWP already, you may see a couple of new entries here that are labeled new. The first one is PHP FPM selector, which allows us to select our FPM and also selector two, which allows us to select our CGI. For those of you using the standard version of CWP, you'll be using the original version switcher, which controls the main and all. Let's take a look at PHP FPM selector new. So here are the options that we have to install PHP FPM and goes right up to 7.3 as of now, 7.3.6. And this is constantly updating as well. So by the time you review this tutorial, you might have newer versions as well. But before we go ahead and install that, let's check the extensions list and make sure that our options are configured properly. So go ahead and just on the right hand side here, click options list. Now, as you'll recall, Joomla requires PHP extensions, Zlib compression support, XML, INI parser, JSON, and mCrypt. So here, in our configurations list, let's just make sure that everything is in place. So Zlib is already selected. Mcrypt is a requirement, but is not checkboxed here. So let's make sure we add a check mark in this box here to add Mcrypt. The rest of these all look fine. So let's go ahead and save our custom configuration. And we'll just scroll down to make sure that it saved our changes. There's mcrypt has the check mark and everything else is good. So we'll just click the back button now to go back to the FPM selector. And now we can see here that our custom configuration file has been loaded. So now that we've done that, now we can choose our FPM version. We'll go right to the latest version and we can go ahead and start the compiler to build and install this PHP.
So you'll see the confirmation dialog at the top here, PHP compiler started in the background. You can monitor the compiler from the console, which is up here, using this command. Installation of PHP can take about 30 minutes. So we'll just wait a little bit and we'll come back and check again. While we're waiting though, I wanna show you the CGI installer. So again, over here in the PHP settings in the sidebar, down below, here's the PHP FPM selector that we just used. Here's the new uh, PHP selector two, and this would be for CGI. So I'll go ahead and click on this. And we can see it's very similar to the FPM selector. And again, you would want to check the options list here to ensure that all of your extensions are configured properly. And similar, we can see Zlib is already selected and mcrypt needs to be selected. Then just scroll down, save configuration file. And then we can go back And there's our configuration file updated, and then we'd be able to install the latest PHP CGI. For those of you using the standard version of CWP, you'll have access to the version switcher here. And this is the main PHP version switcher. So here you would just select the version that you want to install and go ahead from there. Here it gives us the same configuration file. We can check our Zlib and our mcrypt. Again, we'll just add that check mark. Now here, instead of saving the configuration file, we're gonna click this. It's just gonna automatically save and build in one step. So because we're running the PHP FPM installer in the background, I'll just skip this step for now. But very similar processes regardless of which method you use. So we'll come back and we'll check the FPM in just a few minutes. Okay, so we took a short break and now we're back. So let's go back to our sidebar here to PHP settings and we'll go down to FPM selector. And we can see that the new version is displaying down here as installed 7.3.6. So to run this new version, we'll just hover over the green play button here and we can see the pop-up dialog says start PHP FPM 7.3. So we'll go ahead and click that to start FPM running. Excellent, there we go. And to further confirm it, you can click on this little status icon, the blue info icon. And you'll get the confirmation here that the PHP Fast CGI Process Manager um, FPM has begun. So the next step in the process is to set up our web servers. So over here in the sidebar, you'll see a heading called web server settings. Let's click that twirl down button, open up the sub menu, and we'll click on web servers domain configuration. From here, we will select a username. Now here we'll select one option, and in this case we're going to choose PHP FPM. And the, the vhost template will be PHP FPM. We stay with the default, and our version is 7.3. I guess I should mention that all web servers on CWP will run Joomla efficiently. However, the options will be limited to the web servers built. You can also add custom vhost templates as described on our documentation site. We want to be sure to check the box for rebuild web servers configuration for the domain on save. And once we have that box checked, then we can go ahead and save changes. And you'll see the confirmation dialog up at the top. So now that we've updated our PHP and our web servers, now it's time to log in to the user panel. So the easy way to do that is to go over to the side menu to user accounts and scroll down. You can see list accounts in the sub menu. From this list of accounts, we can just look in the chart here under username 
to find the user that we want to use. And then on this tools icon here, we can hover over and we can see that it says open panel. So let's go ahead and open panel. This opens our CWP user panel. We'll just put in our credentials and log in. Now here we are in the CWP user dashboard. So the first thing we'll want to do from here is to go down to the sidebar menu to SQL services, twirl down the submenu and open my SQL manager. And the first thing that we need to do is create a database and user. So go ahead and on the right here, click this blue button, create database and user. We get a pop-up that swings in and we'll go ahead and give our database a name. And a password is randomly generated, which you can keep or you can override that with your own. And whichever you choose, just copy it to the confirm field. The character set, a wide variety of character sets will stay with the default and click create new database. And there's our confirmation and here's our new database automatically named and user automatically named. So now that we have all of our technical requirements updated and our database prepared, it's time to download Joomla. So let's go to the Joomla download page and you can click the download button at the top of the Joomla downloads page and that will take you to their most current version. In this case, it's 3.9.6. And this is a zip package. So let's just go ahead and click on that. It's a small file, only 13 megabytes. We'll go ahead and download that. And then we can head over to our user panel. And we have the option to upload this with either FTP or file manager. We're going to use file manager. So to access that in the sidebar here on the left, we will twirl down file management and select file manager. So once the file manager opens, we can just navigate to public HTML. And here up along the top, we have some options. Just choose upload. And you can either drag and drop your file or open your browser to navigate to it and find the zip file that you downloaded from Joomla. So now we're uploading the zip file directly into our file manager. The status is now complete. So we can close this dialog and our file manager refreshes to show our zip file is here. Now to unpackage this file, we'll just scroll over to the right here and there's some options including decompress. So we'll just go ahead and click on decompress, confirm OK. And it's a small file, so it unpacks very quickly. Now, an important thing to note is that we uploaded the zip file directly into our public HTML folder and unpacked it directly within. So all of our Joomla files unpacked directly into the public HTML folder. It's important to do it this way because if, for example, you unpacked the zip folder on your desktop into a folder called Joomla, all of your Joomla folders would be inside public HTML slash Joomla, which would cause your website, instead of opening your website at website.com, your website would have to be opened under website.com slash Joomla, which obviously would be undesirable. So make sure you do it this way that I just showed you. Or if you do unpack all the folders on your own desktop, make sure that you upload all the folders directly into the public HTML folder instead of in a subfolder. Okay, so now that we have all of our Joomla files in place, it is time to install Joomla. So the easy way to do that is to go back to our CWP dashboard in the user panel.
And here on the right side, we see main domain. Let's just highlight our domain and copy and paste that into a new tab. This opens up the Joomla installation page. So we'll give our site a name and an email and a secure custom username and a password. And we'll confirm that password. And then proceed to the next screen. Here's our database configuration. MySQLi is fine. We can leave that the way it is. Localhost uh, is fine. We can use that. Username, let's go back to our user panel and open up MySQL Manager. Again, on the sidebar, scroll down. MySQL Manager is there. Now we're looking for the username. So here under user, we will copy and paste the username, the password, and the database name in this case is the same as the user, but just as a best practice, we will copy and paste that in case there was any differences. Now just check to make sure there's no spaces in there because that could cause a problem. So we'll just make sure that that space did not get captured on the username as well. The table prefix is automatically assigned. We can change this if we want to, but we'll just keep the uh, randomly generated one. And then we can move to the next screen. So here we are on the finalization page. It's just a quick check to make sure that everything is set up the way we wanted it to be. From here, we can click install. And in about a minute or so, Joomla is now installed. Congratulations. So now there is an important step before you're complete, and that is to remove the installation folder. And it's easily done just by clicking this tab here, and this is for security purposes. So go ahead and click on that, and it instantly removes the installation folder. Now you'll be able to view your new site. And Joomla is installed. If you have any further questions about how to set up Joomla on CWP, you can refer to the user guide. And we have lots of other great articles here as well to help you. And that's viewable at doc.control-webpanel.com. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.